in this video we'll add some custom marker uh, custom icons and we'll add a uh, info window with images and more information with call to action buttons so let's get started so first let's go to shop map component here I want to make uh, instead of this I want to make the hundred percent so that it will be responsive okay there we go now we can see these plus buttons so next we'll add a marker cluster to cluster these pins in one place so in order to do that so we need to wrap this marker inside a cluster component so gmap cluster okay now if we refresh yeah we see cluster of those markers next uh, let's add a custom icon instead of this default pin so in order to do that uh, we need a icon so let's uh, search some icon so i use this flat icon dot com flat icon so here just search for google map and you'll get some options so i will use this star icon just add to collection i've already add add to collection and you can also view so if you register it is free uh, it will allow you to edit icon and change the color as you like so edit and make some desired color like so you can also resize position and do a lot of things so when you are satisfied just download I will download as PNG so the size that fits is like 64 let's try so let's open it up this I'll just copy it into my project public folder for now okay so now uh, we need to define that icon inside gmap marker star red dot png let's refresh okay there we go next we'll make a uh, info window uh, we'll add image and some buttons inside this info window so in order to do that we need to so here uh, it is loading info content uh, we can make it uh, another component component info content component or we can put uh, text here like simple HTML whatever you prefer so I'll make uh, info content uh, component so I will call it info content so uh, now let's define this this is custom component created by uh, we need to create create it so I will create it inside Let's copy the content and name it info content. There we go. So the layout I want to use it from Beautify. So um, inside uh, these components, UI component, I will use uh, cards. So this card looks uh, good to me, so I will use that. Just I'll copy the source copy it let's go back let's replace the template also we need this script and I'll replace okay 
so we copied that component here uh, I want to remove this flex box classes because they don't I think you can make them work but I'll just remove them so this image uh, is uh, we need this image so I will copy the code from code pen instead because there is a link to this image complete link so what I will do is I will copy everything and replace that with just this template same thing so you can get rid of this app layout flex I think this flex don't work inside info window content let's wrap this inside div okay so now we have uh, this div and inside it we have card okay so now uh, that we have this component we need to define this register this component inside uh, shop map so I will import that component info content from and I will define that component here I'll register that here I'll name it info content and info content okay so now that is registered we can use it okay now that we have registered uh, we can use that component so now let's go back and see how it looks refresh and open the component yeah there we go it looks nice okay so now at the moment uh, it is uh, static we need to make it uh, dynamic so this uh, text so the way we do is uh, we need to pass the props so I will pass a prop called content and I will pass this info content okay so info content uh, this content and we'll set this uh, we are setting this content here in in toggle info window as a marker name so you can also uh, make this object and pass more properties like name description and uh, listen uh, we need to accept that here props content and we'll for now we'll change the heading with content there we go so we are accepting content dynamic content from here and we are setting it when user clicks on this toggle info window we are getting the marker name which we are supplying from backend so let's see this in action there we go so it's dynamic so there is also option you can make uh, anything dynamic here you can pass this uh, except uh, that variable as a props uh, from this component and use that here just like we did for content okay so this is how we add custom marker with custom info window